Hi, my name is Bill Laboon. I'm the technical education lead here at Web3 Foundation in Zug, Switzerland. Today, I would like to discuss existential deposits and keep alive checks. Existential deposits are an idea in Polkadot. Uh, you will also see this really in most substrate based chains, uh, including Yokusama and other parachains, that there is a bare minimum amount that is necessary for an account to exist on chain. So uh, the reason uh, for this is to avoid dust accounts. So accounts that have an incredibly small amount uh, of, a, of a token in them uh, that are then sort of you know, clogging up uh, 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 some of, some of the, the, the data storage. And so avoiding these is very useful um, uh, from a technical perspective. Uh, however, this can be confusing for end users because in many systems, you know, in Bitcoin, for instance, you know, if you have just a few Satoshis on, uh, on an account, that, that's perfectly fine. But in Polkadot, if the account goes below this existential deposit, it is what's called reaped. And reaping is when the entire account is removed from the chain and the, any, um, small amounts of tokens remaining are burned. So this is the concept of an existential deposit. In uh, Polkadot, the existential deposit is one dot. In Kusama, it's 0.01 .01 Kusama tokens. And in other um, uh, chains, you'll see that they can have different existential deposits. So you may have seen this actually when, when transferring. Uh, so let's uh, just have an example here. I've got Bill West End, you know, Bill West End, West End Two, and West End Three. Uh, just in case you're not familiar with West End, this is a Polkadot testnet. Uh, if you'd like to switch over to yourself, go down to Test Networks, uh, West End, and then click Switch. So let's try sending uh, some tokens from one account to another. Uh, we can see here I'm sending from West End to West End 2, and I can see the existential deposit here is 0.01, as we call them, Westies. So uh, the minimum account, uh, minimum amount account should have to be deemed active. So what happens uh, if you try to send to a new account? So let's say uh, uh, I, I have some other accounts here that have absolutely no uh, no tokens in them. Uh, so let's just say uh, Bob, we can see Bob has zero Westies. So I'm going to try sending uh, a very small amount below the existential deposit to Bob. So Bob has zero, I'm trying to send 0 0.0001. And when I try to make this transfer, you'll notice something. Balance failed because of the existential deposit. I can't send, uh, I can't create an account that has that uh, little amount. The, the transaction will actually fail. Okay, so I'm not sending uh, anything over uh, from my account. However, uh, you will note that I did burn some transaction fees. So you will burn transaction fees uh, for, for doing this. Uh, so anytime you try to do something on chain, uh, you will. Um, get transaction fees. So now let's say I've got uh, this account, Bill West End 2, and I would like to send you, I'm, this doesn't have a lot of Westies in it, uh, I just want to sort of get rid of this account, I'm going to send all of my tokens uh, over to here. So the first thing that I could do is, well I'll say oh, I'm just going to send everything, right, so i will send a thousand dots uh, over to West End 3. Uh, this, as you might imagine, will fail because I don't have a thousand uh, dots in there. It will not, or excuse me, Westies in there. It will not just uh, round, round it up. Uh, so when I try to send this, I will get an error that I have an insufficient balance. As soon as the next block appears. There we go, insufficient balance. However, you can see once again that I did in fact um, uh, 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 burn, uh, burn some transactions, or spend some transaction fees, rather. So, if I want, uh, actually, even if, um, 
I try uh, to send the full amount that I have on here. So if I try to send, um, I have 0 0.169 uh, Westies. So I'm just uh, off screen. I'm going to do a little bit of math here. Uh, it's going to cost me 0 0.0154 um, uh, Westies for in transaction fees. So 0 0.169 minus uh, uh, 0 0.0154 is 0 0.1465. So you might think that I can send, well, first I need to uh, learn to copy and paste, uh, 0 0.1465. Here, that if I try to uh, transfer this, that it will get rid of this account. It will just send everything over. But we have another error here, keep alive. So you will notice that when I try, you know, again, I burn some transaction fees. Every time I do something on chain, it's going to burn some transaction fees, uh, essentially, every time I modify state. Uh, we have this transfer with account keep alive checks. So with the keep alive option set, we make sure that we're not going to have this account be reaped. It won't allow us uh, to send so much that the account drops below the existential deposit and is deleted. So if I do want uh, to do this, then I need to turn this off. And generally, if you want to transfer without a keep alive check, it's because you intend to just remove everything from it. So there is an extra option here, transfer the full account balance and reap the sender. So we know that this account, it's gonna automatically determine if I want to you know, send everything from this account, what can I do? Uh, and it'll we'll say I can send you know, 0.1311 over to bill West End 3. So we're going to turn off our keep alive check and turn on transfer the cool account balance. Uh, I, you know, I could turn this off and send like, you know, 0 0.13105 or something, which would still drop me below uh, the existential deposit uh, and would cause this to be reaped, but we may as well take all of our uh, Westies out of here. So I'm going to uh, make transfers. You'll notice Bill West N2 exists, has 0.1465. I'm going to send 0.1311. The rest is used as a transaction fee and make this transfer. So here we go. Account was killed. The extrinsic was a success. And I now have all of those Westies in West N3. So hopefully uh, this uh, short video has helped to teach you about uh, how existential deposits work and how you can get around them uh, and how you are protected from accidentally reaping your account with Keep Alive checks.